Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, once again, I'm going to be diving inside my portfolio and showing you guys the Canadian stocks that I'm going to be buying today. So because we are approach approaching the end of the month, going into December, we have a lot to talk about on the portfolio. So in today's video, I'll do a quick little update on the portfolio. I'll dive in and show you guys the stocks that I have. I'll show you guys the stocks that I'm buying, as well as some plans for the future. And we'll end the video um, doing a recap of my total earnings from the dividend portfolio uh, for the month of November. And like usual guys, if you guys enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. We are just approaching 3,000 subscribers on the channel, so I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who supported me. Uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers, and if you guys could do that, I would greatly much appreciate that. All right, let's hop into the portfolio, and let's see how our stocks are doing. All right, guys, so we're inside my portfolio on multiple trade, and um, this is on the desktop version of the app that is currently in the beta version. Um, so we have $12,516 inside our entire portfolio, and as you guys can see here, I actually have two portfolios on here. I have a personal account with $4,974. This is predominantly my Canadian REITs. You can see that this portfolio is doing quite well. We're up 19.51%, almost 20% all time for my REITs, which is really cool. And then my TFSA, I have pretty much the bulk of my Canadian dividend-based stocks. We have $7,542, and they are up quite a bit too. Over the past little while, we've seen nice little increases. So let's go in, each individually. I'm going to talk about them for a little bit, and then I'm going to talk about what, what the plans I have, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys the stocks I'm going to be buying uh, for this for this uh, for day, today and next week kind of thing. And um, if you guys have been watching my previous videos, it's kind of going to be more of the same because like I'll talk about it kind of as we get further on here. But over the past day, you can see that the TFSA is up currently one percent, and it opened the day a little bit in the negative, but it's kind of it's kind of depending on what stocks you have, it's kind of up and down. But in the past week, once again, we're we're kind of floating around that one percent range, and then the past month we were up twelve percent. So that's where most of the gains from the portfolio came. We had a nice slow jump, and now we're kind of getting down a little bit. But I don't think we're going to get like a huge dip, like maybe like a like. 10%, we might lose like 1% or 2% here and there, but I think overall the portfolio is going to probably stay where it's at <clears throat> going over the next little while. So we have $215 available to trade today, and here's the, in, each individual stocks here. So as you guys can see, some are up, some are down, but the ones that are up are actually pulling a lot of weight here. You guys can see that um, Manual Life, which is probably one of the bigger um, in each bigger individual companies we have here is up 11.86%. So they're doing pretty good. Same with Transalta Renewables, up 20%, doing quite well. Um, Telescorp is up 6%, which is doing okay. TD is up quite a bit. This is one of my biggest holdings. As you guys can see, we have 14 shares, which is $991, up 11%. And I am gonna be buying a, a share or two of TD today as well. And then we have VDY which is my main ETF of 8%, which is doing really good. And then we have a US index here and then some other ETFs at the bottom that I'm looking to eventually get rid of, but I'm just kind of keeping them here because you know, they're, they're doing, okay. some of them are kind of like in the negative and I want them to kind of get a little bit of jump up before I sell them. Um, so that's the portfolio for that. Now I'm going to go over my reach really quickly and I'm going to talk about my reads because um, interesting enough, you know, when I first made my REIT portfolio, I put them in a personal account because going towards the end of the year, I wasn't sure what I wanted to put in my TFSA. You know, I was, you know, I have my main Web Simple Investment portfolio that has about 50 ish thousand dollars in it, and then I have these other two. And I'm kind of getting near the end of my contribution room, but actually going into 2021, I'm going to have a little bit more than I thought it would. So initially, what I should have did is put my um, REITs inside my TFSA. Um, because I never would have expected to get the growth that I got from my REITs here, as you guys can see. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get 20% gain over the past month. Um, so this kind of just goes to show you, if you guys have TFSA contribution room, just put put the money in there because you never know what's going to happen. And yeah, it, you know, it's only $700, so if that money's taxed, it's not a big deal, but it does add up at the end of the day, right? Um, so what I'm going to have to do with this portfolio is going toward over the next couple days, um, I contacted Wealthsimple, but unfortunately um, they can't do a transfer in kind. So the best way to do this is I'm going to have to sell all these stocks and then take the money, transfer it back into the TFSA, the other one I have here that I just showed you guys, and then buy the stocks back again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the opportunity to kind of clean up the portfolio because as you guys can see here, I got a lot of like overlaps with some of these ETFs and everything is up quite a bit. So I'm going to kind of drill down into some each individual companies. Like I'm probably going to buy uh, BPY back because I still think they have a lot of growth. If we click on BPY, we can still see that they're down quite a bit a year. Like they still have lots of, they have still down 20%. So I still think they have a lot of gain. And as you guys can see, the REITs have been one of the slowest sectors to recover. And I still think they're going to recover as everything does eventually. Um, so I'm definitely going to be buying, buying BPY. Um, Dream Industrial, the industrial side of REITs have actually been done, doing quite well since the pandemic and that and that's to expect it right like more production stuff like that so i think this is one that's going to do quite well going in the future as well i don't own that many shares of dir 
um, only five shares, but I might keep those shares. I might rebuy them because they're just doing well. H and R read, I will 100% buy because this is one of the best performing reads in my portfolio, and that's just because they got hit the hardest. And now with them trying to, starting to recover into quarter three, you can see that just a little bit of gains here. Um, you know, put me up about 45%. So it's almost a 50% gain. That's pretty crazy. They have a nice monthly dividend and they're still down 33%. So they still have tons of room for recovery. Same with RealCan. You know, RealCan still have lots of room. RealCan took a little bit hit over the past day. As you guys can see, it's going down. So I think it's a good opportunity to buy. So if you guys are interested in buying RealCan, definitely buy it now because it's kind of took a little dip. Uh, but once again, you know, um, if we go year over year, it's still down 34%. You know, I talked about RealCan and h and Read in a previous video. One of my undervalued, I think it was my um, two undervalued cane stocks to buy video high yield stocks check that video out i talked in specific specifically why i think these two stocks are really good buys and it's mostly just because they're just good solid reits that got hit really hard and they're just slow to recover but as their earnings will go back up they will hit that recovery so that's why i think they're just really good buys but you know there's some <clears throat> other etfs and reits here like um, this RIT and XRE and maybe even ZRE, I'd like to kind of clean these up and maybe put them into VRE and then put the other the rest of the shares into RealCan and HRE. That's what's something I'd like to do. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. And what, what I'll basically do is I'll sell the REITs and then we'll transfer the money. I think it takes about a business day to transfer the money. And then I'll do another video and I'll show you guys the different allocations. And, and I just want to be 100% clear on this that I usually don't sell stocks. Like I'm usually doing this for the, like when I I buy a stock I'm usually buying it for the long term I'm not buying it to sell it quickly um, but obviously because I want to move these into a TFSA I'm kind of forced to do that and I can't transfer them so um, I mean at the end of the day it's not that really big of a deal right as long as you don't see like the markets jump up like 20% within a day, it's not that big of a deal. But you know what? I'd rather have those into a TFSA so in the long term, they can grow tax free. I mean, I have the free contribution room. I might as well do that. Um, so that's definitely a mistake I made. So definitely, if you guys are watching this video, definitely learn from that. Um, so anyways, um, talk about the stocks that I'm buying in today's video. So as I mentioned earlier, we have $215 inside of a TFSA account. And the one stock I'm definitely going to buy is TE. Um, TD has recovered quite a bit. Um, actually, 2% in the past day is quite well. Uh, if you go over the past year, it's still down 7%, so I still think it's a good buy. I mean, even if it wasn't down, I would be buying TD because it is one of those stocks that just keeps growing really well. You know, they're, they're constantly getting more earnings, they're constantly growing their dividend, and they've just been an amazing stock to invest into in, in, in the past couple decades. So I still think that growth's going to be good. They're Canadian banks, so it's a really good business. And like I said, they're a very good dividend stock, and their dividend yield is really nicely right now. We currently have about $990, which is about 14 shares with 11 point up. 0.3% gain. I think that's absolutely crazy. And I think the stock's going to do well over the next couple of years. Um, so I'm going to buy about, I think I'm going to buy one share of TD uh, and we'll stick that in the portfolio. As you guys can see, we have about $215. So we'll buy one share of TD. I'm going to place the order and we'll go with that. And then we're going to go back inside the portfolio. And the other two stocks I'm going to be buying is I'm probably going to be buying RealCan because once again, I still think RealCan is a good buy. Um, I'm probably going to buy a couple of shares of H&R REIT. I'm going to buy them in my TFSA, right? Because remember, I want to buy them tax-free. Um, so I might as well just start buying them in my TFSA already. So we'll buy about, let's go with two shares of HR REIT. We'll buy those right now. And once again, like this stock is just going to perform so well. Uh, you know, it, it's so undervalued right now. It's got so many big gains and it, it's got a nice dividend yield. So that's nice too. So buy two shares of that. And then we'll go back outside the portfolio. Um, I'm going to have to look for RealCan because I don't think. Let me just refresh this really quickly to get all the updates on how much uh, money we have. So we have $116 left. So I think we're going to put the rest into RealCan. I think that's what we're going to do. And um, I'm just going to do a quick little peek here on Google to see what the current dividend yield of RealCan is. Because they have a still they still have an 8% yield with tons of potential to grow. Um, I think HRE is sitting at a 5 or 6% yield. So it's a little bit of less yield. Um, but I think real can still, I, I still think it's kind of the better one, but they're both really good stocks to invest into. So I'm going to put the rest of this money into real can. I don't think I'm going to buy any VDY today because we're currently sitting at about, um, it's currently about 31% of my portfolio. So I don't think I want any more of that right now, even though it's still a decent buy. I'm probably going to buy, and in fact, actually, you know what? I might buy like one share of VDY and then I'll put the rest into real can. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll buy one share of VDY. We'll put that through. Uh, because we don't have enough funds about this trade. Ooh, did I use up too many funds here? Oh, that's in my personal account. Whoops. That was the wrong account. That's why that didn't work. So VDY, uh, TFSA. I wonder, I don't know why it picked my personal account. That was kind of strange. 
So there we go. We go in my TFSA, buy one share of VDY, and then we'll finish up if we all can. And we'll kind of keep on the trend of, once again, kind of investing into the ETFs on average, making it the base of the portfolio, then buying some individual stocks that I think have potential to grow. Um, I like that strategy overall. So we'll go back in the TFSA, uh, we'll hit refresh, and it should show us what we have. $83 left, so we'll search for Rio Can here really quickly. Rio Can, uh, where is Rio Can? REI.UN. And as you guys can see, it's currently trading at $17 Canadian, so still relatively cheap price. And it is kind of dipping down a bit. What we can see, it's already kind of going up, so I don't know if we're getting any uh, any, any prices at, at a lower price point right now. It's, it's hard to say, I, I, so I'm gonna just buy the rest here at 71. Can we squeeze in? No, we'll have to squeeze in four shares here. We'll place that order through. And that's our buys for today. So hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know what you guys think of the buys today. Once again, it's pretty basic stuff. It's nothing crazy. We're just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, I'll definitely make a video going in the future talking about transferring my personal account. And I'll show you guys what stocks I'm going to buy, of course, because I always do that. I'm super transparent about that. But other than that, guys, let's do a quick little peek at the dividends. Um, I'll bring up, whoops, that's not the right thing. I'll bring up the dividends here so you guys can see the dividends for all these stocks. And then I'll give you guys the monthly spreadsheet so you guys can see how much we made in total. But as you guys can see, like a lot of the dividends are starting to roll here at the end of the month. As you guys can see, RNW, PIF, XRE, XHD, XRE, all these different ETFs that we have. Once again, a lot of these ETFs I'm not really buying anymore, but they're just kind of sitting inside our portfolio. Uh, you know, just kind of growing and wait until they go up to sell them. And then we have some other ones here like Shaw, uh, RBC, DIR, uh, SAS, uh, VDYs. These are some of the ones that came in at the early month. But I'm going to bring up the spreadsheet really quickly so you guys can see in total. Um, we got back on a portfolio in October. I didn't contribute that much inside the portfolio. Uh, because I ended up buying a new computer, but as you guys can see in November we contributed $1,200 so that, that, that we're back on track with like putting a lot more back in the portfolio and growing the dividend stocks and our total dividend income for the month of November was $41 and I didn't tally this into this total right here. I forgot to do that. So it, I, I'd say it'd be around $200 made from our dividend stocks so far. So it's slowly getting there and we're slowly growing as time goes on. And then I have the total contributions here on the side. So you can see we've got some nice little gains in the portfolio so far. Um, we're, we're doing pretty nice so far, so I'm pretty happy about that. And you can see this number is just growing. Me, De December should be a good month because a lot of stocks are paying their dividends out in December. So we might hit a $50 dividend for this in, in dividends for December. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, uh, we might hit that. So anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll put a link to my top two Canadian undervalued um, stock video. If you guys want to check that video, there'll be an end screen. You guys can click that. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more Canadian content. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you guys later and have a good day.